Hello, and welcome back to another scary game. I'm going to be trying to get two videos out a day, just because these scary games are real easy to pump out, and I really enjoy making them. Love trying out lots of different scary games, and we don't need to only do scary games, we could be doing some other types of games, but I just find these ones the funnest. This game is called The Children of Clay. We only have play and quit options here, so we can hop into the options and have a look, so let's just, let's just play. Let's get into it. Name. Artifact, artifact number 297. Site. Kurgan Burial Mound, 7B. Ural, Ural Mountains? Rural? Earl Mountains. Material, clay. Age, unknown. Function, unknown. So I guess we're an archaeologist and we're having a look at some interesting artifacts. This feature resembles a human face. The face. Looks like a metal object embedded in the artifact. It doesn't seem like it's possible to extract it. Maybe I can find out what kind of metal it is. Maybe. Is that is that a word there? It looks like some sort of etching. I should use the magnifier to look closer. Where's me magnifier? I've got it in here. Search for. Oop. Magnifier. I could not find anything relevant. Do I not have one, or is that just not how we get it? Metal object. The face. What do we do here? Can we lift it up? Seems as if it's got a... Curious, this feature resembles a tail. There's the etching, there's the face. There's the tail. And one... So it seems like each side kind of had... I should use the magnifier. Okay, what is the magnifier? Where do we find this? Oh, this. It seems to be some sort of... They seem to be some sort of ruins. I don't recognize the type. Maybe I can find something in my books. Uh, what, it, what is it? It's... F... I can't really search for it. Oh, okay. It's here. F C M T H M I don't know, I don't know what is this Oh point 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 Is that how we find out what kind of metal the compass is detecting a magnetic field, so it likely contains iron. Is that really how you... Why don't you use a magnet, bro? <laughs> uh, how do we... How do we search for that? Is there a way to put that in the book? Because that's not something I can type out on my computer, I don't think. Search for... You know, I can't really type that, so... Let's just have a look at its face. Very interesting. Well, we've got this down on the paper, what do we do now? Search for, oh. Oop. It's no space. Um. 
interesting. I'm not exactly sure what I need to do here because I've got, I mean, so far we know, well, it's got a face. We know that it's got a tail as well. It's got ears. Looks like it might have had some ears. The runes. Runes. Oh! An old Hungarian script for runes, alphabetical writing. After the establishment of the yeah, writing system, forced out Latin alphabetic, however, among some professions, e.g. shepherds, who use... Uh, so we can translate it like this. So, the backwards F, which is what I'm, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna call that. That seems to be the letter L. So we've got the letter L. Next, to the backwards C is the letter. Uh, seems like the letter N. So L N. The little L N U. That one right there could be a. Hmm. That's an I. L N U I. Then the uh. The H looking thing is an R. And then U. I think I need to write this down. Because I'm not going to remember. So let me get my phone out. Um, I'm just going to go to my notes app. Back. Uh, let's make a new notes. Okay, so the first one is definitely going to be L. Because I don't really see... Oh, wait, no. It, oh, it could be G, though. I think it's G. Oh, yeah, I think it's G, definitely. Okay, so we got G. G. Next one. I mean, I'm thinking... I'm thinking it's... I think, I'm thinking it's N, but it could also be O. So we're gonna go G, so... I think it's N. G, N... That one's definitely U. G N U. Um. I'm just looking through. We got G N U, and then that could also be D, or it could be I. But I, th I think it's D actually. I think that's G N U D. And then that one's definitely R. R U G N U D R U That doesn't make much sense. Otherwise it could be I think we're very we're right about the G. I think it we're right about the G. Could be G Could be O technically. Like sort of you gal um gowd oh wait oh it's from right to left I didn't read this bottom thing it's typically usually written from right to left which means it's actually you are You are, and then that one is most likely D. 
You are the... You are the best. You are the you. You are the you. You are the... You are the you. N... G. You're dong. You're dong? Is there a way to just like instantly do this? Cause I... Let's search for... You are... You're dong. Oh! I got it right! Thrilling! You're dong. Old Hungarian is a shape-shifting demonic creature from Hungarian mythology. And and early Hungarian prismarine who control pri, pra, I'm not gonna try and say that. Who controls the dark evil forces of the world. After Christianization, it I, it was identified with the devil. One surviving folktale about Hung Yerdang involves one of its spawns on Yerdang of Yerdang arriving on Earth. The shaman of the village consulting the spirits to learn to trap the creature. So it's it's Yerdang. Is that what this is? Because I mean, um. Some sort of dark liquid is flowing out of the holes. It's loosened the metal object. Guess we'll take it out. Boink! Don't jump scare me. I'm gonna fight you. Why's this sound like that, bruh? Oh boy. Except from the newspaper article titled The Children of Clay, just a few months after the disappearance of the esteemed archaeologist, the incident involving a broken artifact and a team working on a remote site, and the Earls made an astonishing discovery. A previously known underground chamber, dozens of similar s small clay artifacts have been discovered and already in contact with several universi universities across the globe to further study them. Damn. That was cool. I really liked that. I liked the kind of having to, to study like what it is. And then as you study more and more, you realize it's darker and darker. To when you just find out it's like basically the devil. And you lift it up and it's like something terrible has happened. That was really fun. Very short and sweet and I liked it. Very fun game. Yep, that was the Children of Clay. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This video will be uploaded um, probably tomorrow from when I'm recording this, which will be which will be the the 29th. I'm gonna unplug my headphones if someone knocks on my door. I think it's fine. Anyway, I, I gotta wrap this video up anyway. So, um, thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow. I'll see you in the next video, actually, because this will be the first one of tomorrow. I'm trying to upload two videos a day, so. See you in the next one. Which is going to be Voices of the Void. Because I've been wanting to play that. Which I'm going to record tonight. Bye bye! Actually, I can't do that. It's Markiplier's thing. Goodbye!